so hello hello i just wanted to give like an update on what's going on with the daniel fast if you haven't heard of the daniel fast it's actually a fast um in the bible that daniel did uh where he um chose not to eat choice meat choice foods that the king was offering because the king wanted all the men that work for him to be like um, without flaws and healthy and you know just knowledgeable and smart and everything else like that but Daniel did not want to eat the foods that the king was offering so he asked them if he could just eat the way he had been eating for 10 days and just to show that um, he could be just as good as not if not better if not better than the other men that were eating the choice foods or the foods that the king was offering and wanting them to eat. So him and um, a few of his friends chose to eat that way for 10 days. They were given permission to eat that way for 10 days. And at the end of 10 days, they were healthier than the guys that had been eating all the food. Thank you, baby, for the sugars. Thank you. They were healthier than the guys that had been eating from the king's table, which is pretty much what I got from it. If I'm wrong, then I don't know. Go look it up for yourself. It's in the book of day. Look it up. Anyways, how it's been going? Do you, do you need to get by? No. No, I just... Hold on. I, but anyways, after the 10 days was up, he was better off than the guys who had been eating all the other foods and everything. So then um, everyone had to do the same practices that he was doing. So they all ended up eating like that. And it lasted like three years that they did this. But the Daniel Fast is for 21 days. Yeah, I know. The Daniel Fast that we do is for 21 days and it's in January. But you can actually do it whenever you feel like you need some type of reset. Or if you feel like your body just, you know, needs something clean. But anyway, I've been doing this. I'm at the end of it. I have three days left, including today. So I just wanted to, like, give an update on how it's been going. Now, let me tell you something. Temptation is a fierce thing. But when you go into something, knowing why you're doing it and what the end result is going to be, then... You have more willpower to do it so I went in with a few goals in mind one to eat healthier two to feel better three to get closer to God and be able to pray more and um, be able to meditate more so I, I had those goals in mind so I knew I'm sorry I'm looking everywhere I can't remember where the camera lens is but I went into it with knowing what I wanted so I wasn't just like, okay, I'm going to do this fast so I can lose weight. That wasn't like my main goal, even though it's a plus that normally comes with it. With that being said, I lost about 10 pounds in the past um, three weeks or well, two and a half weeks. I've lost about 10 pounds. Um, and it's because you cannot, you can't have a lot of the things that you had. Like I had a really, I have a, like a sugar addiction. I love sweets. So I hadn't been eating any processed sugars, like no coconut sugar, anything like that. No, no artificial sugars, none of that. The only things I've just been sweetening with uh, fruits and like dried fruits and stuff like that. That's like the sweetest. It's like to the extent of the sweet that I've had. And everything is whole foods, no white flour, anything like that. So it's like bread is almost off the table unless you can figure out how to make yourself some bread which i did i made some quinoa bread so it can't be like leaven so you can't put like baking soda and stuff like that in there and no yeast any of that so it's like really clean whole foods you can't have like those veggie patties and things like that either just you have to make your own patties with like beans and brown rice and corn and like, just whole vegetables so um my experience with it is one, I have learned how to pray better, learned how to worship better. I've been reading daily. I've learned how to read better. My mind has been clearer. Um, I can remember my dreams better when I dream. Um, digestion is getting better. Mighty Mouse's skin is clearing up. 
because he has really bad eczema and he nurses so whenever I would eat some type of dairy or anything with like dairy in it he'd have a really bad flare up and it's been really hard to kind of keep it under control and now on his leg he has a patch like this big where his legs were just covered before even when I was like okay I'm gonna give up dairy and I hadn't eaten I hadn't had any milk in forever but I was still like occasionally having cheese because I really just really like cheese but um I've found cheese substitutes things that I made at home myself not the store bought uh, vegan cheeses but things I've made at home like sauces that taste cheesy using nutritional yeast stuff and things like that so um his skin is like baby soft the way it should be um what else it it was a little difficult I did have one slip up because I was working in here and like cleaning and stuff getting ready for inspection one day and then all of a sudden it was 9 30 at night I hadn't eaten anything so I ate a slice of pizza so that was I admit that was my slip up <laughs> um other than that everything pretty much went smoothly it was expensive because nobody else smoothly? smoothly oh I thought you said smoothly it was kind of expensive <laughs> because nobody else was eating like that in here I was the only one doing the fast and then I still had to have food for them in order for me to stay healthy enough to still nurse and stuff I really had to have like the real whole like lots of vegetables and stuff like that and not just like find a few seeds and grains and eat like that you know what I mean so um had to find a way to make it get varieties of food and everything <clears throat> Josh what are you doing I'm putting my feet right here anyways the first like three days I was kind of grumpy I ain't gonna lie I was grumpy and I was full of hot air if you know what I mean I had I had so much hot air I could probably make a balloon fly I'm just saying you yes Joshua I don't know if you can hear my son down here dictating what I'm saying but he's telling y'all <laughs> he's telling y'all what the deal was but yeah that got better and I, you can only drink water on the fast and in my water I put you can put lemon in your water and you can put apple cider vinegar in your water but you couldn't have like herbal teas anything like that and nothing else to drink just water so um, when I started putting lemon in my water like every day almost every glass of water had lemon in it or some apple cider vinegar and all that went away so I hardly had any um, heartburn before I had heartburn every single night and I haven't had probably any now or if I do it's like really mild Joshua I'm sorry I didn't, I didn't mean to do that my bad but um uh, what else? My son keeps distracting me. I can't keep track of what I'm talking about now. You're talking about, first you're talking about some blood. They can't hear you. And, uh, they can't hear you with down there. Say hey! Hey. My name else wants to say hello, so I'm going to let him say hello. Why are you talking about that? There you go. So, as I was saying before, the kids don't knock it over, Joshua. I won't. Okay, I decided to record, and both of the kids decided that they want to watch me record. So, my my 12 year old is laying by my foot while I do this. And then, got my mouse right here because he likes to be on camera and waving. He just wants to wave all the time on camera. So, here he is. Everybody say hello. Yes, Joshua, say hello. Hello. See, so yeah, I can't do anything without him. But anyways, what else? What other effects have I had? Very nice poops, TMI, but that's what goes with it. I had a lot of knee pain before. I was like suffering, trying to get up the stairs. It was hurting. And like in the past four days, maybe my knees have not hurt. I've been more flexible, which is crazy. But I have. I've been able to like fold better and bend better and move better. So maybe that's from all the spices I've been using or whatever. But that's, that's a benefit from it. I haven't really had any like uh, negative side effects. 
I get hungry faster, but that just means eat more. But yeah, that's um, basically it. I've learned how to pray better than I did before. Like my prayers have more meaning, if that makes sense. Like before it was kind of like a routine thing, bless my mom, bless, bless my family, you know, stuff like that. But and I was like, you have specific things that you have in mind that you want to pray for. And at first you feel like, oh, is this a selfish prayer? But then it's like, no, this is what I need in my life, so I'm going to pray for it. So you have, um, like, you can make a list of specifics that you want to pray for. And that's how it works out. And it, it works great for me. So, oh, thank you. With only three days left to go, I would say this has been a success. And I will do it again. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the, thank you for the sugars. So, yeah, he's giving me lots of sugars today and lots of love. He's just like his big brother. Okay, say bye bye. Say bye bye. We're gonna we're gonna go now. Say bye bye. Look. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes. Blow some kisses like this. Mwah. Blow kisses. Mwah. Mwah. Yeah. Yes. Bye bye. Good grief, boy. <laughs>